In this video I'm going to show you the best abilities and the best locations to level up the blunderboss in New World. Now I appreciate that this actually isn't out at the time that I'm releasing this but I wanted to give you the knowledge before you actually get your hands on it and then you can actually go ahead and level it up as quickly as possible. One thing to note is that there's going to be a double XP weekend which is actually going to apply to your weapon experience so you might want to take advantage of that. However that does mean that a lot of the locations I'm going to show you probably going to be quite full so let's first jump into the game and have a look at the abilities so for me there's three or four abilities that you really want to possibly use and they are obviously in the blunderbuss tree i don't personally rate the net shot because it's not really going to do aoe damage and i don't personally rate the claw shot because again it's not going to do aoe damage and then obviously you've got three out of four of the rest of the abilities for my personal taste i quite like having this as off shrapnel blast i quite like having the rockets and i quite like having this blast shot which will knock four down the one that you can use which i found a little bit awkward to use is the splitting grenade partly because if you're like getting a large group of people then it's actually quite hard to get them all to run over the grenade but that's just like a completely optional thing i'll just quickly show you these abilities and then we'll talk about the locations i'm just collecting these enemies here and what i'm going to show you here is the knockdown one which i believe is the blast shot i might get the names incorrect well essentially it's good if you've got a group chasing you like this then you can essentially, well I'll wait till that's one off, you can sort of knock them down like that and then if you wanted you could then go into the rocket. See it doesn't always knock them down and the rockets, if you get hit, you can actually be interrupted here, I'll see if they'll hit me, uh, and it'll stop you with your rockets. So the problem, that's a bit of a risk with the rocket. The shrapnel blast is quite cool because if you, if you level it up you get a bomb as well, so it does like a wide blast, then it drops a bomb and that does like AoE damage. So basically I use that to get distance and then I go into the rockets and then if they get close I use the other one. The grenade is sort of like a similar AoE but I'll just show you how it works. Okay so I just rounded up some mobs here and I just want to show you that um, basically if I just try the grenade here it can be quite difficult to get it to land or it's bounced all the way over here and then I've completely missed. It can be quite difficult to get that to land I think. You could knock them down and then try and do it but uh, yeah I don't necessarily rate that. With these slow like mobs here, you can generally get away with this like uh, with the mortar shots because you actually get the AOE off. But the grenade, if I fire it into them and then maybe try and stand there, it's very hard for me to get like the overall like AOE that you need. Obviously, once you get some of them low, you can just use the normal like weapons and stuff like that to like finish them off. But um, the more AOE you do, the better it's going to be if you're trying to like pull large packs and stuff like that. But you're probably going to use a combination of three of those four abilities pick your build to your taste and then you're probably going to go ahead and start AOEing. Now where are you going to go ahead and do that? Well let's talk about that now. So the first place that I want to talk about is the Defiler Excavation. Now this is in Great Cleave and it's just west of the Eastbourne Outpost and it's basically a mine. Now outside of the mines you will find scattered enemies but inside you'll generally be able to get like two or three semi-decent pulls that you'll relatively easily be able to AOE down. Now the reason we're picking here is because the blunderbuss is thrust damage basically so it's going to be quite good against corrupted mobs. I'm not 100% sure if like all the explosions and stuff like that are good against corrupted but I was having an okay time here on the PTR trying it. That's why I'm not getting any weapon experiences because I'm on the PTR I'm technically already full. But there's some decent pulls that you can do here. It's corrupted, it might not be as popular as some of the other areas so it might be one place to check out now you might be thinking in the same area that there's these little like forts and stuff like that but the problem with those areas when they come to the corrupted is that actually they have like archers and stuff like that so you can't aoe them down so i don't really recommend anywhere else here in great cleave you can go a little bit south to the frozen claims but the problem that you get there is that the mobs are all spread out but that might be okay if you know all the other spots are taken there is another possibility which is to combine your leveling of your weapon with some farming like rawhide so when we go down here up into cutlass keys and we go to the classic farming spot where the dogs are where you can get rawhide which is in the fort ramos area these dogs they'll die to one shot you can round them up kill them all skin them get the rawhide and you're basically combining like two for one you're basically getting a little bit of weapon experience but you're also getting rawhide so it's like a combination of the two but that's not going to be very quick at leveling up your weapon now obviously if you're familiar with leveling up your weapons you'll know that there are classically two areas in wrestler shaw boar's home in wrestler shaw is still an absolute classic place to level up and of course you get hide it's not rawhide it's like thick hide and i still think it's actually quite worth if you ever manage to get there with your blunderbuss on your own 
it will be a very easy good place to level up and you'll get the hide however i think once the wonderbus comes out you're unlikely to get this place on your own it might be swarming if you can get a group well that's fine because you know you're going to be killing a lot more mobs so it's probably worth and right next to balls home in restless shore we of course have these two pirate camps one is called channel view post and the other is called ocean view post the mobs here are the lost so you're not going to get like any bonuses but it's such a great spot that it won't really matter and all you do is you go to the first one you round up in a big circle get as many mobs as you can aoe them down then you run to the next one and you do the exact same thing and you literally just run to and fro wiping them all out again though these spots are probably going to be heavily contested once the blunderbuss goes live but depending on when you're watching this or maybe if you can play it like a really off-peak time this would be a really good spot these are probably the two best spots but they're probably going to be the most contested spots my next spot is basically to go ahead and do the faction quests in Shattered Mountain. Now, faction quests are getting a bonus because you're going to get five times the amount of tokens. So what I would recommend, if you're in no rush to level up the Blunderbuss, you might be better just coming into Shattered Mountain, doing your three quests per day and leveling up your Blunderbuss as you do those. Now, the reason I say that is, again, obviously a lot of the mobs are corrupted. What you want to do in the four areas like if you have a quest there or if you're just running past there, you want to go in, kill everything, take the chests and yeah, basically you'll level up your blunderbuss doing that. There will be archers and that kind of stuff in there with musketeers. You don't worry about it, just, you've got a bit of range and shoot them. Obviously, any area where you can level up any weapon is probably going to be suitable. Generally, what you're looking for is a large group of mobs that you can like AOE down, but that's not always the case. Like, for example, there are some areas like some farms where you can literally just go there and just try and pick any mob off that you see, and you obviously will level up your weapon. You might not get a shed ton of XP per like kill, but they're so easy to kill that you'll just blast through them very easily. The one thing to note is that the blunderbuss, if you go to like a farm and you're planning on just standing in one spot shooting them all, you're not going to be able to achieve that because the blunderbuss is really short range like it's something like 10 to 15 meters it's honestly not very far but any place that you know of where it's good to level up your weapons is still going to be viable the problem is once the blunderbuss actually goes live it's going to be very popular all the areas that are good are going to be taken so i would maybe look at great cleave try that mine and then maybe just run around killing the corrupted it's probably going to be your best bet unless you can get a group and do balls helm or the two pirate camps on the beach like this video if you did like this video comment below if you have any additional places where you think will be good to level up the blunderbuss have a most beautiful day come follow me on twitch goodbye